Hello everyone, Trigon here, and welcome back to Growler's Cave. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. So you like the cat, Growler? Yep. Sure do. He's a good mount. Does lots of damage. He ate a Bronto. <laughs> Bronto, you say? Okay, well, yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good mount. You got a cat that can eat a Bronto. So, here's our boat. Got it all finished up yesterday. So remember, I, I or, uh, not yesterday, whatever. Last after the last recording. Um, remember, I said I realized I had the what you call it turned the wrong direction, but I got that fixed, so it matches now. Boy, this boat looks like a huge monster now. <laughs> but actually, the ramp works because right after I finished recording, and I do mean right after I finished recording, I had a. I had a dode, I think he's still over there on the beach somewhere, just come up the ramp and just drop right into the taming pen area. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But I'll give you a short tour here. I don't remember what all I had done at the end of the last episode. I got lights in. Replaced our wooden ladders with metal ones so they wouldn't get damaged so bad. Um, well, shouldn't get damaged at all now. But yeah, we got the railings up here. Not only for safety, but for cosmetic. And also, it'll, uh, here anyways, it'll keep things coming up the ramp from getting over onto the side here. Instead of uh, going into the thingy where they're supposed to. Got lights put in around the place. That one's sunken in a bit, but oh well. Got these on the inside. We'll just have to pretend that there's some sort of aperture. Uh, but those are the floodlights going forward. I think we've had those on one before. But that'll give us nice lighting up ahead of us if we're sailing at night and by raising this uh, I don't know if I pointed out before I see we got this nice little space underneath here too I took the windows out because I realized by not having windows in here it would make this area better protected because if there's windows then they can attack through the windows so and we got this area here not much change from yesterday I made S plus beds not realizing that they stack side by side like this if, it would really be great if he made this S plus bed stack vertically. That would be awesome. I mean, who cares about the big stack side by side? Stack them vertically. That would be that would be terrific. We got uh, Growler's uh, re corpse recovery thing in here too. Uh, I don't really have this completely stocked up yet, but we don't really need to worry about that today. I did bring food in for taming and for ourselves. So we got some pumpkins for ourselves and pretty much something of every kind for for taming now too. And some veggies. I brought in some veggies just in case we should happen to need them. We've got some water right here. We drink. And of course we've got our fire S plus fireplace, which the textures are suddenly right again. They've been these, you know, those goofy Play-Doh textures for I don't know how long now. And I logged in today and went, hey, the fireplace looks right. But you remember with the S plus fireplace, we can also cook in it. So up here, I did switch these back to wooden doors. I just didn't like them. The other way, more lights. Um, fireplace chimney sticking up through. It just barely fits, but it's. Don't really know what to do up here. I mean, normally I would have the workshop and stuff up here, but I'm liking the way it's looking downstairs. Um, I don't really want to block access to any of the windows, so I haven't done anything with it at all yet. Maybe I should put a bench right here where you can sit and look out the back. They got benches on either side here. You know, so we can sit and uh, see out the front. And went with double doors, so we can, you know, get a good shot to tame down. No, don't give me that look. Sonya, Sonya, just, just, okay, going back inside. Uh, move the ladder over here. We got this up here, also railings around, safety and cosmetic. Uh, I've got it, it's sort of weird from the... From below this one here oh you know what I've got to check and see how that well I'll look in a minute this one here is tra uh, transparent from below and uh, 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 opaque from above so that uh, you know it's it just it looks nicer opaque from the outside but this one I wanted to be able to see the taming pen below uh, and wanted it to look right from here so you know so now it matches the one below it because it's opaque from below but, here's the question, how much does that mess up our view from down here? Uh, not really. Not really. It might be better if we didn't have that uh, opaque, but I'll live with it for now. But anyways, 
Uh, I said we were not going to do any more building today because uh, we already did so much building last time. So what I really want to do is, uh, there we go, is uh, I want a sloth of uh, Mega Ethereum or whatever they're called. So I'm going to head over here and see if we can find ourselves one. And uh, we'll see about getting it tamed up. Um, we also are equipped now that we could get ourselves some uh, uh, Achatinas. And Achatinas would also be good for, uh, for this area. Uh, and we determined the Capro can't carry them, didn't we? Or at least it didn't seem to be from our experiment the other day where we died horribly. And our capper was killed, so I suppose it doesn't make any difference, does it? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could also uh, grab some sap if we want to. I don't think we have any need for it now. We got what we needed. We just needed that starter sap to get our uh, yucca plants going. But I'm really pleased with the way the book, book came out. Oh, you know what I meant to do? I meant to paint it. I meant to paint it before today's episode. Oh, well. Maybe I'll remember to paint it before the next episode. But yeah, I like the way it came out. I like the way it came out. I was real tempted to uh, change the back there. So that instead of the stairs going straight down off the back, they went to the left and right. It'd be handier for uh, when we're sitting at the dock. But I like having, you know, a straight on ramp on the back where we can back up to uh, the beach and be able to just run straight up into the boat too. Oh, you may see I also I got the navigation lights on and uh, we've got a little a little uh, uh, um, flotation device there too. <laughs> All right. Let's take a quick look up here before we before we be our beat. That's we're almost here. Wait, is it noontime already? Wow, oh, it sure is. We did pick a tree nice and close to the shore, didn't we? Alright. while I'm thinking about it. Here, let's... Let's get stuck on a rock. Come on, let me off the rock. <laughs> Stupid arc, let me off the rock. There we go. I get our bow pointed towards the shore, so if we do find something to tame... We can drag it to the boat. Um, I thought about actually tearing down the um, tearing down our uh, fence. Oh, we don't have solar panels on this game though. I think I definitely want solar panels back on the next uh, Growler's Island. Um, but I thought about uh, uh, bringing that because that that I, I used that uh, on another on the on the Ragnarok game and it works pretty well to use those electric fences um, as um, a portable taming pen I mean it all you have to do is just put things around it and it's good to go up here and check this um, but since we don't have solar cells we wouldn't be able to power it it would still be a good fence so I don't know We'll have to think about it and see if it's really... Holy cow! Um, I can't even carry that much. <laughs> it's funny how the stacking mods work different. Because I'm using a different stacking mod here than we're using on Ragnarok. Uh, Eek likes the other stacking mod, so I tend to use that on, uh, on most of the games. Um, but this one obviously stacks... Uh, sap quite a bit higher all right so i am on the sloth quest when i find a sloth i will bring you back okay finally it has actually been about two hours i have been to the snow biome south and the north 
And I am now at the opposite side of the redwoods from where I was searching earlier. And finally, one. This is the, the, the fourth and fifth ones I found. I found a 15, a 35, a 40. Then this guy right here is a, uh, what is this guy, a 45, I think? Oh, this guy's a 40. Okay, and no one of the other ones I found is a 45. But this girl here is an 85, which I would consider an acceptable level. Just have to kill Die, Carnotaur, die. I tell you, what a trip. And the north snow biome is like all UD all day long. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> those UDs are just everywhere there. I want to get rid of this guy, because otherwise he's going to rush to the aid of the other one. Now, did we manage to do that without catching the other one's attention? Yes, we did. So now, I think we're just too far away from the boat to try to drag her back to the boat. So let's see. Let's take these. And, uh, yeah, I've been back to the house. I actually had to make furs because I tried to go. Uh, I tried to go down to the other place and was freezing to death. No, don't wander out of it. <laughs> back up but maybe if I you know sh she's slow enough that if I could just get these around her quick follow me Sonya let's put this one right here then come right over here put this one right here okay nope get this one right here before she can try to get out no Not stupid compies. <laughs> Maybe it would be easier to try to get back to the boat. Oh my goodness. It doesn't help when the stupid compies attack us. Okay, oh goodness, this could be a problem. Yike! Come on, you're a tree climber! Climb this. Oh, stupid tree. Where's my little makeshift fence? Can I get her stuck in here if I get her over here? Oh, she gave up on me. So you just scared the crud out of me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's after us again. No, no, no. What are you doing? Stop chasing me. Stop feeding on Sonya. <laughs> you dumb thing. Okay, she's trapped in here. Sonya, just stay right where you are. Uh, Passive, you. Okay, there we go. Trying to get that. You're trying to get to Sonya? Let's see if I can do this. No, no, no. Other one. Other one. Cyclopus can push right there. I think this whole thing's too big. Let's grab this one. Right there. No, the Cyclopus can push. There. I don't think she can get out that hole. Can you get out that wall? I don't think you can. Okay. All right. Well, this this may work out. This may work out. Okay. 
So let's put our trank arrows into our crossbow. Now, where is Sonya? Where did Sonya go? She was right here. Where did she go? Okay. What the heck? Sonya was right here next to me. And she's got... She's got our prime and stuff on her for taming. You've got to be kidding me. Did she just up and evaporate? She was on passive. She was on unfollow. Oh, man. Sometimes this game... Okay, well, um, I guess all I can do is leave this girl here in the pen and see if I can make it back to the boat and look for Sonya on the way back. I have no idea where she could have gone to. This is just crazy. Alright, well, I shall be back shortly. BRBs. Okay, well, I have literally been all over this area. I even moved the boat to a place that I hope is closer, and, you know, she came up that way whistling for her. I think she just vanished. Another arc bug. I hate it when that sort of stuff happens. Alright, see if we can get this girl here tracked. Ow. No idea what her torpor is like. She's certainly taking some damage, though. Getting close, she's running away. There we go. Thank goodness. Okay. So this meat on her. Wait for her to tame out. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna rearrange some stuff here to try to get this fence closed around her a little bit better. So we're a little bit safer in here. Come on, let me pick it up. So yeah. This, this fence seems to work pretty good. I mean, not just, you know, doing it the way we did, but I mean, just if you got a tame going, just being able to, no, no, I didn't want that, just being able to place the fence around your tame real quickly, you know, so you've got a safe area for it, that's pretty useful. It's not too bad. I couldn't I could have got it a bit better, I guess. Let's see if I pick this one up and move it out this way a little bit. You There, that's a bit better. 
Okay, so see, uh, I mean, I've just got six of these posts. This is from the uh, dynamic fence system. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, if, if I had a solar panel, you know, I could do one of the ground mount solar panels and uh, an electrical outlet and a control panel. And then we could electrify this. We could actually use it as a taming uh, apparatus by setting it for stun. She's taming fairly fast. Boy, we did a lot of damage to her, didn't we? If all goes well, she'll tame out to be 127. Not terrific, but not too bad. These things, I think these guys are going to be the next to get nerfed. I really do. Because they are so useful. Um, they, they gather berries very well. They gather fiber and they gather thatch. Uh, and in my experience so far, they gather them, except for the berries, they gather fiber and thatch pretty much better than anything else. I think even fiber even better than the bears, and thatch definitely better than uh, um, megaloceros. So I'm guessing they're going to get nerfed. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to wait for her to wake up, and we'll see you in a little bit. Bearbees. All right, so there we are. Uh, whoops, I don't need to do that. There we go. Princess Fluffy Butt. She seems like a Princess Fluffy Butt. Do to me, I mean, doesn't she to you? Hey, Fluffy Butt, let's get your saddle on ya. Okay. Uh, no, no. Oh, yeah, we'll leave you on passive. Take you off follow. Let's pick these guys up. Yeah, I've been sitting here. I got to say, though, it took a surprisingly short amount of time to tame her up. It went by really fast. Um, especially considering how long we've sat for, you know, some of the recent tames. Um, but I sat here the whole time whistling and, you know, looking around, hoping I could, you know, see some, you know, sign of, of uh, uh, Sonya. I just... It, it is just so ridiculous. I mean, there's absolutely no reason for her to have disappeared like that. I mean, she was right next to us when we were fencing uh, Fluffy Butt in. Oh, hey. I don't think I am going to try to tame on what you call it right now. I just wanted to come down here, just in case. You know, she was down here somehow. <gasps> there you are, Sonia! Oh my goodness, what were you doing down here, you silly girl? Oh, thank goodness. I was so afraid we lost her. Alright. Well, hey, successful day. Let's check this out. Whoops, I just... <laughs> Oops, <laughs> so much for the... Actually, we might as well harvest that uh, thing. I never even, never even knew it was there. Oh, it was still alive. We didn't actually kill it. Oh well, we got a ton of chitin for killing it. We'd never find it again, anyways. Oh, yep. Yeah. Come on, Sonya. My goodness. I wonder how she ended up clear back here. All right. Well, successful end of the day. Even though I broke the cardinal rule of deciding I was going to tame one particular creature. <laughs> um, but yeah, we uh, found Sonya. We got Fluffy Butt tamed up. And she is gonna... She is gonna help us out in some areas. Thatch just seems to be... Just having such a hard time getting Thatch. Enough, we have so much stuff that needs Thatch. Um, and I just like these guys anyways. These, these guys are pretty fun pretty tough so yeah we're gonna do well by having her with us oh here's another thalacolio right here wonder if we could tame it <laughs> all right we don't need another one we can only ride so many oh here's a car now well here comes your first battle girl oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 uh. no defend yourself Yeah, 
I almost got killed by a level 10 Thylacoyo heading back to the bow. Just because, uh, my goodness, it's going to take a little while here. Just because, um, you know, they're, they're tough. I hated having to kill this one at 120 would have been a nice game, but we didn't have the time. Didn't want her. It's all right. We're out of time. Ooh, I wonder, what, I wonder what's causing me to smoke. That's interesting. That's a new... They've added so many effects lately. I have no idea what 90% of them do. Um, I also have no idea how to get back down to the ground. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will definitely be using Fluffy Butt to help us out with some gathering in the near future. Oops, she's got to rest. Um, if you liked the video, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. What on earth is this thing that's on us? It's in the top right, but I can't tell what it is. Her level up being over it. No, it's not what I wanted. Put it in her health for now. I don't know. What is the little yellow thing? It looks like tree sap, but it can't be tree sap. I have no clue. <laughs> Alright, well you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.